Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It is me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the Liverpool career mode. Thank you guys for the amazing support during the weekend. But now, let's see if we can reach 2,000 likes on this episode. That would be amazing, assistant coaches. In the last episode, you have decided that Markovic should be playing a little bit more instead of Konoplyanka, whose form has been really bad this season and who is probably going to be leaving this team in the January transfer window. I don't know yet, but you guys will have to decide in the end. And it was a very close vote. So in the end, I had to put my stuff in it, my thoughts in it, and decide if Markovic would be playing in a starting lineup. And I have to say... He will play in the starting lineup more often now because Markovic is a player that I'm really surprised with and we are now playing against the team that he has been loaned out to. Fenerbahce, that is my team from Turkey, the team I support. So it really hurt me to play against them and try to beat them. Right here, Danny Ings with a pass to Vito Andrade. Starting off, this is his debut. Andrade is a new talent at Liverpool and it was time for him to get in there. And I have to say, he does feel really, really good. His dribbling is on point. And right here, he does already get in his second chance of this match. But we're still trying to go ahead and get that goal in against my beloved Fenerbahce. Even though it might hurt myself, I have to go ahead and beat them in order to get to the top of the Champions League group. And that is something we have not been able to achieve yet. So this match is really important. There's a cross coming in for Van Persie who does hit the crossbar at the moment in real life. He's very unhappy because Fernandao, the striker of Fenerbahce, is just tearing it up and he does not get enough playing time. Roberto Firmino with the skill, looking for his teammate Jordan Henderson. What a shot, but Volkan Demirel gets to it. So we are moving on into substitutions because... One of our players has gotten injured. Flanagan has to go out and Klein will have to join into this team. Henderson on the free kick. That is not actually the guy I want to take it with. But I had to. 21st minute. Can he actually surprise me? No, he can't. Like, come on, guys. You were not expecting Henderson to score a free kick. James Milner and Jordan I are now joining into the game. I should have subbed in James Milner for that free kick, but I did not, so uh, that was probably a mistake. But let's see what we can do in the 90th minute, the last chance of the match. Jordan Ibe over into the middle. But that's it. It is a nil-nil result, or no, is it not? There is another chance coming in for Liverpool in the 90th minute. James Milner has some space, takes the shot, but no, no, no. We will stick to that one point that we were able to get in this match and I'm not actually too happy with this. I would have loved to get the three points because we have so far only gotten draws in the Champions League group stage and that is not good enough to make it through to the knockout stages. Flanagan only is injured for eight days so he will be back very soon and there was something I wanted to show you guys. I do have some really really sick talent in the youth squad. Joaquin Magellan looks like a sick player. He might join into the team very soon and I might start training him because Oscar Lingard is already a 68 rated player. When he gets to like 70, 71, I want to stop training him and start concentrating on the whole team once again because the training feature is something that might help me out a lot for all of the players that are playing in the starting lineup. Right now, Liverpool is only in the 7th spot and that needs to change as well. So our situation right now in the Champions League group stages and the B PL is not really perfect and we had to do something about it and this episode was the one in which it had to start. Now up against Derby County, obviously a match that I was expecting to win. I was expecting my team to just go ahead and destroy them because Derby County just has made the promotion and they are in the BPL now and they are playing against the big teams like us who have been qualified for the Champions League. So you should be seeing a Liverpool side that could get past them easily and there's a first shot coming in from Coutinho. Moving on though, we'll still try our best to defend, not concede and just go ahead and score our first goal but the defending it's just not on point, but our goalkeeper is making another save. So it's still nil-nil. The scoreline hasn't changed, but Derby County had a corner kick straight after that. 38th minute, it's coming in right here. And somehow, no one got to it. I don't know, my goalkeeper 
was going out, he was looking like he was about to grab it out of the air, but somehow it did not happen and we conceded, which really honestly pissed me off, like I wasn't expecting to concede from a corner kick, but now it's happened and we can't change it, so we should just move on and score our first goal, no it didn't happen, but there's another one, no, they saved it on the line again. Just like Manchester City with uh, Zabaleta, I believe that was in the last season maybe. We were getting so close to scoring that goal and they're saving it on the line. And we are still trying to get that equalizer right now. This is not the situation I was looking forward to have in this match. But there is Benteke. Sturridge with the cross and Christian Benteke with the header. These two have been starting to play really well together now that we have changed the formation where we have two strikers up front. And now we had still about 18 minutes left. Pereira on the ball, passing it over to James Milner with a good shot. But once again, the goalkeeper making a save and our team was pushing for it. Team pressing was the only thing I wanted to see right now. The goalkeeper doesn't know what to do. He does pass it to his defender. He loses the ball to Benteke. Benteke has some space, takes the shot. It gets deflected, but still hits the post. And Sturridge is there to pick it up and make it 2-1 for Liverpool and get them three points for our squad. And again, these two are involved in a goal for Liverpool. So that is a really good sign. Sturridge and Benteke. Okay, working together really nicely and now we just had to hold on to the scoreline 90th minute big chance for Derby County to get the equalizer but oh my god we got lucky in that one we just got away with it and again same minute and they got another chance but Horn does hold on to it this time and we do get the three points and that is the only thing that counts yes so far we had the best defense but we conceded a goal that sucks especially against Derby County I was expecting my team to do a lot better and not struggle that much but it's also a good thing because that shows that our team has a lot of morale and they are just going ahead and fighting until they get the victory. Now I have trained Lingard alongside Coutinho and now Markovic is training alongside him because he's just so close to being an 80 rated right midfielder and I'm looking forward to seeing that happen very soon after that win against Derby County, we have made it into the fourth spot. 15 points, only four points away from the first spot in the league. And that is not too far away. Now, these three points could be very important if we manage to get them against Hull City at home. Just like Derby County, they are another team that got promoted into the BPL this season. Henderson with a great outside of the foot pass to Konoplyanka who does cut inside and he does see Henderson again. What a shot that is from Jordan Henderson. He is back into the team and what a goal to score. Konoplyanka with a great assist and there is Jordan Henderson making the perfect run but on top of that, that shot from that angle, it was a very difficult shot to get off and hit the target, but he did it. So we are now 1-0 ahead of Hull City in front of our home fans. And I wanted to score more. Pereira with the long shot. Coutinho does get to it after that. But it is still only 1-0. And uh, in this game, I seriously felt that I could get those three points again. Sturridge on the ball. He is now cutting back. Has some space. He does have too much space. And smashes it across the goalkeeper. And makes it 2-0 for Liverpool in the 75th minute. And he is once again involved into a goal this time Benteke did not set it up Sturridge did it on his own and we are making some changes Firmino, Markovic and Origi joining in for players like Benteke who are now tired so let's see if our team can go ahead and score that third goal which would be a perfect scenario but we are in the 89th minute Timo Horn with a big mistake but uh, luckily they were not able to capitalize on that one. 90th minute. We are moving on into our last attack. The goalkeeper does come out. And uh, we are not getting to that one. But it's done. We have gotten another victory. Three points against another promoted side. And Henderson was the man of the match. 
just because of that insane goal that he scored so I'm really looking forward to see him back in the team he has been one of my favorite players for Liverpool in real life but right now in the game he hasn't performed in the last season so it's nice to see someone like him come back into good form and Markovic has moved up to an 80 rating that is exactly what I wanted to see and now he is even more of an option in the team and also more of a replacement for a player like Konoplyanka. Liverpool now on 18 points at 21 points on Arsenal who are in the first spot. In the next episode, we'll have to play in the Champions League group stages. AS Roma is the team that has not gotten a single point so far. So let's just keep it that way and get three points against them, hopefully. But here's my question for you assistant coaches. Do you believe that Henderson should be getting back into the team? 13 games played, three goals scored, one assist. Even though normally you would expect that to be turned around. You would expect more assists from a center midfielder. But he does have some great stats on him. But in the last season, it has hasn't shown so do you believe in Henderson do you want to see him involved into the team more if yes let me know in the straw poll down below thank you guys so much for watching and now enjoy the player of the episode Daniel Sturridge